Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sayyid Imran Ali and today's video will be on why I chose to study bachelor's in sustainable design engineering at the University of Prince Edward Island, Canada and why you should do so what are all the benefits of studying here in this province in this university and what are the disadvantages or the negatives to study in this university. One of the reasons to study in this university is the weather. Now Canada can get pretty cold. Minus 40 or minus 50 degrees is pretty normal over here. However, in these provinces, uh, the weather doesn't really go that cold. It's usually minus 10 to minus 20 degrees at the lowest. And that's pretty manageable provided you wear good amount of winter gear. So all your thermal and winter jacket. Another reason to choose this university cultural diversity. You will find students from Africa, Asia, Middle East, Far East and Europe or even the local Canadian citizens here. So this unique blend of students all around the world coming and sitting in one classroom to study, that's pretty unique and innovative way to study and it's quite uh, fascinating to me. So this blend of modern and classic look from the outside and inside is the reason why I chose this university for its beautiful campus. And that's the new building that's being made for students to study. And it's got a very beautiful ceiling and the classrooms are very good as well. Uh, it's under construction though. This is one of the classrooms where I study and it's huge. Look at the ceiling and then you've got loads of seats. And then you've got this beautiful place where you, the whiteboard could come down and then you could have your lecture. While the classroom looks very big, the class size is generally around 30 students. It could go as high as 90 or 60 and it could go as low as 15. But this I ideal medium class size is perfect because you'll get uh, optimum attention from the professor uh, if you need any help or if you have some sort of doubts while also experiencing the fun and interactive way to study with your classmates. So it's pretty perfect class size. Now the tuition fees can be a big concern when you're planning to study abroad, especially if you belong from a middle class socio-economic background. And the University of Prince Edward Island is relatively affordable. In fact, it is the most affordable university within Canada for its engineering program as of 2022. So that makes it a very good uh, university in terms of the affordability. So that's pretty useful. It's, the fees of this university for engineering is around 15 to 16,000 Canadian dollars, depending on what courses you have. And that makes it a lot affordable than any other university all around Canada. When you come to Canada to study, you're not only coming to study, but obviously you may have intentions to settle here after graduating and maybe have a nice job over here in Canada, a nice house, a nice car. And this province, the Prince Edward Island, is the perfect province for immigration. And the reason being is that it's got a very nice PNP policy compared to Toronto or British Columbia or Alberta. So generally to get a PR, or a permanent residence in Canada, you have to work here around one to two years after graduating and the work should be within the field of your graduation or the NOC code. But here in Prince Edward Island, the PNP policy is very good for international students. So if you graduate from this university and just do any job over here that has got the NOC code, uh, you can get the PR without any work experience. So it could save around one to two years worth of your time to get the PR. In fact, I've seen around numerous people who came from Toronto or Vancouver and they immigrated or shifted here from that city just to get their PR. 
they were on their work permit or, or they, on their study visa and the PR policies over there were so frustratingly long. No. If you compare it to Toronto or maybe some Middle Eastern cities, you would find Bentleys and G-Wagons here normally, but here you wouldn't find a lot of luxury cars nor any luxury places or skyscrapers. It's generally a small community with houses and normal middle class people living their life. I just came from the snow and that's how it looks. So apart from the low life or the relatively uh, less bling life in this city, uh, another issue could be the part-time jobs. They're not as readily available as the likes of GTA in Toronto or Vancouver, but they're still available. Uh, so my friends could get a part-time job in a month. I got a part-time job in a month though they were not 20 hours a week, which is the standard, but you'll still be able to find a lot of part-time jobs in summer, but in winter it could get a little bit difficult. So the Bachelors of Sustainable Design Engineering is a more project-based program. So rather than the traditional just studying in the classroom methodology, it's more about applying your skills in practical projects. This is another design studio where students can sit together in a class, learn new things and then collaborate and make new projects. So again, engineering at this university is all about applying it into real life. So the Bachelors of Sustainable Design Engineering is divided into three uh, concentrations. You've got the Sustainable Energy over there, and then you also have uh, Bioresource and Mechatronics Engineering. So these three are the uh, pathways or the concentrations that you can opt for in the degree. That we've got a lot of uh, labs over here, and these the purpose of these labs are basically to just try out new things and maybe test out or do a practical project. You're supposed to do a project every academic year. So if the degree is of, of about four years, you need to do four projects. And this is just one of the many labs. Within the engineering department, you've got these numerous rooms which are called the project ideation rooms. So you can basically book these rooms online for your personal study space and you can open it with your university card and there's a whiteboard, there's an LED TV and you or a group of friends could study over here. It's a safe small space where you are not disturbing someone else and nor someone else is disturbing you. So that's a pretty cool idea, you can sit together and discuss about a project or assignments. So Prince Edward Island has a lot of job opportunities after graduating, especially for engineering. And I'll share a lot of icons over here or um, the logos of the companies that are here in Prince Edward Island looking for graduates to work for their company. And the amount of job opportunities here after graduating, it's immense. So I would highly recommend you this province if you're looking to stay over here, having a nice job after graduating. Now I'm at the Bell Alliance Center, which is the sports center. Basically, you'll find a lot of different sports happening over here. And I'll show you ice hockey area. So. You've got this, this is the small, smaller ground, there's another larger ground over there. So you've got this seating area and you've got this ring.
You've also got a dedicated gym over here and a swimming pool. If you enjoy sports, this is a perfect place for you. I can't quite make the video of the swimming pool because people are swimming there uh, without the proper clothes. So I can't make the video, but there's a gym, there's a swimming pool and a lot of other amenities that you can make use of. And that was the beautiful campus and such a good, cool campus life. Along with the robust curriculum, the quality of education here is just outstanding. So that's one of the main core reasons why I chose this university. The course curriculum, the course outline of the sustainable design engineering along with the future employment opportunities, the PR opportunity, the uh, community-like feeling when you live here because it's a relatively small town. So that's a, what, that's a few range of the reasons why I chose this university, this degree and um, this province. I hope you liked the video and if you do like it, then do also share and subscribe my channel.